Today's video is on the structure of the mitochondria. So we'll start with a basic diagram and you need to know the various features and what they do for aerobic respiration. If we start from the outside, we have the outer membrane and this contains transport proteins required for moving pyruvate, which is made in the cytosol, into the mitochondrion. In between the outer membrane and the inner membrane, we have what is known as the intermembrane space. Remember that mitochondria are double membraned organelles. This means they have two lipid bilayer membranes. So if you were to look at the membrane, you would see one lipid bilayer, like this, made from phospholipids, a space, and then another lipid bilayer, like so. The intermembrane space is important in aerobic respiration because it's where protons accumulate. Next, working our way further inwards, we have the inner membrane. And this contains the electron transport chain and ATP synthase, which are vital for oxidative phosphorylation, which is where the bulk of your ATP is made during aerobic respiration. These protrusions of the inner membrane that you can see here are known as cristi. And they increase the surface area to volume ratio of that inner membrane so you can fit more electron transport chain proteins and more ATP synthase proteins. Finally, on the very inside of the mitochondria, you have what is known as the matrix. And the matrix is where the Krebs cycle occurs and is where you'll also find circular DNA and 70S ribosomes.